Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's December 1st, which means it is the start of a new Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. Yes, even though I haven't drawn for November, we forge ahead into December. Nothing stops this train wreck, but it's not a train wreck. It's a fun time. So if you're new and you don't know what the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight is, basically every month we pick a creator and we celebrate them by making items based on their patterns or tutorials. Now, it does not have to be an item you make this month. It could be an item you made in the past. I don't care. Um, I just want to see what you've made by this creator. Um, now, we've run into an issue where there are numerous, very popular, very prolific creators on the YouTube streets. And they get um, nominated multiple times. You guys are welcome to nominate any creators you want to see. I add them to the list. It's a very long list, but they're on the list and we'll get to them. We will totally get to them. Um, the only criteria I kind of have is that they have a YouTube presence with tutorials available and um, that those tutorials are not the, not all of them, but they have options that are free of charge. So cost is not a barrier to entry, um, just in case. I want this to be open as to as many people as we possibly can. Um, so what we've decided to do is twice a year we're going to do a redo, a redux, whatever, however you want to say it, of a creator we've already done. And these are people that we've already done but have been nominated again. So the second I see a second nomination, you go on the redo list. Um, we already have two people that are on the redo list for their third, their third time. Um, so we've done them twice and then they've been nominated after the second time. So they're back up for a third go. We're not going to get to them for a couple of years, but that's okay. Cause we only do two, two redos a year. So, I want the focus to be on spreading the love to as many creators as possible. Otherwise, I mean, we could just spend the whole year focused on one or two people and we'd never even put a dent in some of their tutorials or patterns. Um, but anyway, I'm belaboring the point. For December 2024 here, we are going to end the year by redoing Marley Bird. Marley Bird. I love her. I think she's got a great variety of patterns. She has both knit and crochet tutorials. So for either craft, you sure sure to find something you love from her. Um, she also has a website. You're welcome to use patterns you find on her website. I know she has an association with Yarn Inspirations and prior to the merge of Red Heart and Yarn Inspirations, I feel like she had a relationship with Red Heart and that Red Heart moved into your inspirations, if that makes sense. Um, so basically if, and I know part of that, just like Mikey from the Crochet Crowd, she has permission to do tutorials on the patterns that are available from for free from yarnspirations.com. I do not require that Marley Bird be the specific designer of the pattern you choose. If it's a tutorial for a pattern, that she presents, you are welcome to use it. I'm not going to, I'm not out here to try to trick anybody and say, oh, ha, ha, you're disqualified because even though she did this tutorial, she didn't actually design it. No, I, I'm not about that lifestyle. I am about trying to give people as many options as they can. So, um, those are totally welcome. Totally welcome. Um, I know she does a lot of like, knit along crochet along events of that nature throughout the year if you if you go i think she had like schools at one point like knitting schools or like private things where you could pay to do a pattern with her or was she like taught a pattern i think so kind of like summer camps maybe <laughs> i might be thinking of a different creator but I feel like it was Marley Bird. Anyway, if she has something like that and you joined that, even if you did it years ago, if you want to remake that pattern, if you have a picture of the pattern that you can share again, 
you're totally welcome to use that. Um, if you got the information in some way from Marley Bird, either from her YouTube channel, from her website, I don't believe she has a book published, but it wouldn't surprise me. Lady is talented and prolific. Um, doesn't matter if it was a collab with somebody else. As long as Marley Bird was involved and you got the information some way from her, you can use it. So, how do you enter this thing? Basically, it starts today. Oh, before I get much further, yes, there is a giveaway. Yes, it is open worldwide, Void or Prohibited. So hold on till the end. We'll talk about all those nice specifics. But if you're like outside the United States and you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I want to listen to this whole video to find out if I can. Hold on. You're welcome. You are welcome to participate. Um, okay, so how do you participate? You send me pictures of your items. You can send them to me on my Facebook group. There will be a post that says like December and I try to make a thumbnail and use that same picture everywhere. So hopefully it's easier to find. You can respond to that comment. So you're on that thread. Um, that's the best way. If you post straight to the Facebook wall, I'll probably find it, but there's like a chance I miss it. Um, you can email me at craftingkitty at gmail.com. Please just put in your subject line like spotlight, KKCS, creator of the month, something to indicate what you're using it for. It helps me organize things so I'm not so much like a squirrel running around trying to manage her ducks and there's a chicken. Um, so <laughs> you can email me. Whichever way you get me your picture, you need to tell me the name of the pattern or tutorial that you followed. And that's really about it. If you can tell me the yarn, the needles or crochet hook you used, anything extra like that, that's awesome. Um, but that's not necessary. I just need to know what pattern you did. Um, I do know patterns have to be altered sometimes. Maybe you don't like the join in a blanket. Maybe you have to change it to fit your body type if it's a wearable. That is that is totally fine and welcome. I absolutely understand. So just let us know how you altered the pattern because often that will spark creativity in another and maybe they take that another, another step forward or you know, that's, oh, she did that, but what if I do this? You know, it can spark so much creativity. And that's really what this is about. Celebrating the creators that offer us these wonderful tutorials and patterns and sharing our wonderful creativity with each other. Um, what else was I going to say? Okay, on that same front, we have had people translate a knit pattern to crochet and a crochet pattern to knit. That is also welcome. If you do that, again, just let me know which pattern you based it off of and you're good to go. Um, if you put in the work to figure out how to do it yourself in a different craft, I will allow that. <laughs> like I said, it's all about the creativity and especially the creativity sparked by these creators that share their design talents with us. Um, what else? I'm, I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff. Um, oh, when you send the pictures, I do make a slideshow. So on the slideshow, I'll put your name on the slide. If your name is different on YouTube than what you use on your email or on social or on the Facebook, let me know so I know what name to put on the YouTube slide. Um, if you don't want me to share your picture, that's totally fine. I will still include you in the drawing. Your name will appear there because frankly, I haven't figured out how to not do that yet and keep things straight in my head. So what we're going to do is, so I put you on the list and I just leave your picture out. That's totally fine. Um, I will use all of, so by sending me a picture, I assume you are willing to have me share the picture. If you don't want to, you have to, you have to tell me that. The caveat there is children. If a child is the model of your item, then I will not use the picture unless you explicitly say, Aaron, use this picture. Aaron, you have my permission to use this picture. Um, use this picture in your slideshow. Something like that because of the policies about sharing images of children via YouTube and the internet in general. 
Um, yeah, I just, I'm not going to make that specific decision for family versus family, but if you tell me specifically, explicitly that I can do it, then I will share it. Um, I want to make sure. Uh, so there's going to be one winner in the giveaway, at least one winner. Um, additional winners are based on the number of entrants we have. Uh, oh, time, project and time, time and project completion concerns. I understand that can be an issue. Some people are slower. I am a very slow knitter. Uh, even though I've been knitting longer than I crochet by many decades. <laughs> um, so I allow whips. I don't have a bright line rule like the project has to be 50% done or anything like that. The idea is you're working on something. It gets near the end of the month. And I know especially December can get busy people. Um, you get near the end of the month and you're like, oh, I'm not going to finish this. Send me a picture anyway. As long as you've got a goodly start on it, you'll be fine. I've never turned anyone away. The only instance I probably could think of is like you've got basically a starting chain. <laughs> and you're like, this is a king size blanket. Probably it will be, but let's get a little further, okay? <laughs> and like I said, no one has ever been turned away. I, no one has, everyone has operated within the spirit of the event, and I appreciate that. You guys are wonderful. Um, I also, uh, at the very end of the video, will announce the January creator, because some people like to get a leg up a whole month. Maybe they're like, eh. Marley Bird's not my vibe, but this next person, I want to get involved there. So there you go. Um, oh, the number of entries. You can send me as many pictures as you want, but I limit you to three entries in the giveaway. And if you sent me more than one entry in the drawing, I will, and you win, I'll remove your name. And so it's like you get three chances to win, but within this specific event, you can only win once to kind of spread the love. If I have other giveaways on my channel and you win elsewhere, congratulations. Good for you, lucky person. Um, but within the spotlight, I'd like to spread the love to as many people. So we're going to limit one prize per person. Um, so I use the random wheelie to, speak, to pick a winner. Um, I think that's everything. I may have forgotten. If so, ask questions down below. I'm going to super quick go into the giveaway rules and then we're going to talk about who is for January, okay? So giveaway, it's open worldwide, void where prohibited. The winner is responsible for any taxes, duties, or other fees associated with or required by their country. Hold up, Canada. Um, the USPS just announced they are not accepting packages to be shipped to Canada um, because of the Canada Post strike. They ship their packages via Canada Post. My shipping software uses USPS. I do not know if I can transfer to UPS. I believe it's an option, but I haven't explored it yet. I do understand that US UPS sometimes charges an extra delivery fee to Canadians, so I've avoided using that. Um, I sincerely hope by the time this drawing happens, Canada Post is still not on strike and this isn't an issue, but if there's a Canadian winner, maybe we switch to like an Amazon E situation rather than a physical package because I still want you to get your prize, but shipping may not be feasible. Um, so that Canada's going to be in flux, um, just, just as we watch that. Please be a subscriber to the channel. Share if you can. That would be awesome. I don't check, but it's nice. We're all trying to grow. I technically have a goal of 3,000 this year, but I got a month to get another 500 or so. Unlikely. But I did just fit, hit my 2,500, which I am so psyched for. I'm so excited for. Um, I'll talk more about that later. Uh, in order to enter, you have to post a picture, or you have to get me a picture in one of the ways I described above. Entries received through other methods will not be included in the drawing. Because basically, I can't track down everything out there. Um, this giveaway is not associated with YouTube or any other company in any way. All items included in this giveaway were purchased by me personally using my own funds. Um, I 
still have a little bit of the Hirschner's yarn in my giveaway box behind me. It used to be a bunch of Hirschner's yarn that I bought specifically to give away. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know about the yarn management issue. I've been moving yarn that I recognize I will not use into my giveaway. So at this point, you are likely to get yarn that has been in my collection that I fully intended to use and I love and I would have liked to use, but <laughs> I realize I probably will not for one reason or another. Um, so that might bring the allergy issue into play a bit more for people. So hold on. Um, a giveaway starts December 1st, ends December 31st. Let's recognize December 31st is New Year's Eve and I likely will not draw on the 31st. Um, but generally try to get me your entries to make absolutely positive that you will be entered. Get, try to get it to me by noon on the 31st. If I draw late and people get late entries, I will absolutely allow it. Um, so don't worry. Like if I haven't uploaded a video, you're probably good to go. But yeah, just know December 31st is kind of the, the official deadline, but I'll, st I'll, I'll allow a little fudging if, if I'm behind as well. <laughs> Winners will satisfy all requirements for entering giveaways in their jurisdiction. YouTube requires individuals individuals to be 18 years of age or older. The winner has 14 days to contact me and claim your winnings. If the prize has not been claimed by technically January 14th, 2025, but if I draw late, that pushes it back. So if I like don't draw until January 5th, you have until January 19th, you know. Uh, I don't redraw, so I'll just offer the prize at a later date. Um, I post a video announcing the winners. It'll have the slideshow. It'll be awesome. But you don't know you've won until you're in that video. You don't have to email me early. There's no list. Don't give your personal information out until you see your name on the screen with the wheelie and the confetti coming, because otherwise it's likely a scammer. I will not... Okay. I did ask somebody to send me an email because I had an idea, but I generally do not in the comments ask people to email me. Um, we are a pet friendly but smoke free home. Here's what I'm talking about, about the yarn being in my collection. We have two cats and two dogs. If you're severely allergic, keep that in mind. Given that I'm giving away this yarn that is not still in bags and whatnot. If you are severely allergic to cats or dogs, let me know if you're a winner. We will make arrangements. Um, everything pretty much stays in this room, but you know, air circulates, hair, dander might be on my clothes when I go pack. If you're severely allergic, just let me know, please. Um, there you go. Okay, so. If you would like to know, the creator we will be talking about in January, please hold on. If not, have a lovely day, and I can't wait to see what you make if you're able to participate. I absolutely understand December is a hard month for a lot of crafters to get a lot done. Um, so, yeah, there, this is no pressure. I, I don't want anyone to feel like they have to do it. It's just for fun just for fun. Um, so for January, this channel was suggested by a couple of you, but I forgot to write your names down. I feel like Litnitz might have been one. Um, but for January, we will be doing unique stitch designs. I have followed a couple of her patterns. I think last year I made some Christmas ornaments she designed. And I find it, or I found them, nice tutorials, easy to follow, and cute. So I hope people will be excited to explore unique stitch designs with me in January. Okay, I will let you go. As always, ask any questions you might have in the comments. There is many people who have been doing this 
since the inception. So if I don't see the question right away, I'm sure someone else has the answer for you as well. And you know, that never annoys me if someone else comes in and answers because sometimes you get behind on responding to comments. It's how life goes. Um, and I appreciate that. I, I do. I greatly appreciate it. I love how people get involved and and invested in things. But like I said, it is a no pressure. I don't want anyone to ever feel like, oh, Aaron might be mad at me if I don't do it. No, no, I will not. I will say thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for stopping by and interacting in any way with the channel. That is really all the support any of us YouTubers can ask for. Um, now I will go ahead and let you go. I will see you later. Have a wonderful evening and I hope you can make a Marley Bird project. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Okay, bye!